What's up, duders? Holla Hero. We're gonna go check out B6. And uh, I'm not gonna use the fusible formable team. Just because I was struggling with it on B5, so I don't think uh, it'll make B6. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. And we're gonna talk about reps. Down below, you see the friend reps. Friend reps are nice. You can use them once every 24 hours. I think it resets at noon or midnight uh, server time. If you can't, for some reason, beat this, uh, go ahead and pick up a rep. Maybe, maybe to help you out through one and two. There's reps out there that'll clear one and two by themselves. If you're low enough, if you're uh, if you're low enough level, you can't beat it. And uh, we're just gonna switch it up for a little bit of crowd control. I think maybe we can do this. Let's find out. Uh, Hathor is an at five. I like. Or, uh, I got lucky with. I like her. Uh, she does a two-turn AoE sleep. She's pretty good. And Okeanos is another Nat 5 I was lucky enough to get. His third skill is an AoE stun. Comes in pretty handy. TOA, them two together. With uh, Vero. It's uh, pretty much unstoppable. So, and we got, we got Bella back up for heals. But mainly what I'm going to focus on here is crowd control. Just trying to keep them uh, from moving. Taking turns. See the sleep, that was nice. Theo hits pretty hard, so I'll go ahead and wake him up. Wake him up to his own death. Uh, Bella, everybody can get Bella, everybody can get Vero, everybody can get Theo. As for the other two, good luck with it. Uh, I'm not saying you can't get them, but I've been playing for over a year, and I got three Nat Fives. My first one took me like... I don't know, eight, nine months of playing. But mainly, what I want to show you here is crowd control. It's just controlling them. Uh, the crowd control it comes in handy everywhere in the game. Uh, there ain't nowhere that ain't useful. Crowd control ain't useful. TOA. A lot of guys will tell you uh, the best way to beat some of the levels you can't beat. Hathor got resisted. <laughs> uh, the best way you beat some of the levels you get stuck on is crowd control. Um, stuns. Uh, sleeps. Anything that will stop them, stop them from hurting you or taking a turn. You know, a lot of people don't consider things like... Uh, glancing and attack weak they don't consider that crowd control but in a way it is if you have somebody like Arya who does the glancing and the defense breaks like those units out there that'll do stuff like that it's just amazing the spare units the spare units will if you're lucky put uh, put the enemy to sleep but you want to check into, come on, don't slip, there you go, put everybody to sleep, alright, and we'll just work on these one at a time, but yeah, I think like if you get, to me, like if you have an AoE glancing, AoE attack break, it's a form of crowd control, because they they go from hitting... Hitting to, say for example, 10,000. 
they can hit for 10,000. They go to uh, only hitting for a couple thousand, you know, a couple hundred even. It, it, with the glancing, then they're not critting. They're not getting critical hits on you. It's slowing everything down. Their team's like, it's like a wasted turn. When you, when one of your mons can hit for 20, 30,000, and then all of a sudden they're hitting for 2,000, that's control. That's control to me. That's crowd. I mean, that's, there ain't no other way around it. It just became a useless turn. Like, yeah, they got a turn. And every little bit helps, but to me, it's a form of crowd control. Some might argue, but yeah, I got lucky with the Oak and Hathor when it came to crowd control. So if they did exactly what they were supposed to, how I do it, like when I take my turns, then I could just auto it, but then they'll, they'll waste it, like. She, she'll have everybody slept and then he'll use his third skill and wake everybody up. It's a waste. And I got all those third skills lined up to take to the next round right now. So it's nice. Mm -hmm. Got, oh he resisted. And he's probably going to cleanse everybody. Oh he didn't, he messed up. See, that's whenever you get lucky right there, is when they mess up. Let's see, he's probably, oh, he might cleanse. I'm going to have to use this third skill right now. Just because I didn't want him cleansing all them stuns. And then, that's a good thing in crowd control. Sleep over, will, will not wake somebody out of a stun. When they're stunned, they're stunned. Like when they're sleeping, you can wake them up. <clears throat> and Hathor has that second skill that would put a single target to sleep. So if anybody doesn't, if anybody ain't stunned, she could just, if one person doesn't get stunned, she can just do it, wake him up. I gotta get rid of that light Anubis because he's a reviver. He'll bring people back to life. And that's what it is, pretty much. I could probably get through these levels the rest of the way without Bella and throw in another nuker, single target nuker, and make it so much e easier and faster. But, you know, first, run, first time around, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in a healer because I don't want it to fail. And then, see everybody... I'm still going to hit him with that. In case every, if everybody didn't get stunned. Then I would have used Hathor. But since I don't have to. I can use her second skill. And just put a single target to sleep. And that saves me a whole other turn. Now I have Hathor. And by the time they all wake up. Okeanos should be ready. Again. To stun everyone. So. <laughs> and Okeanos. His second skill put, uh, puts... Uh, an enemy's skills on cooldown, so that's nice. That's a nice thing. I know I'm telling you guys all about this, and you're like, I don't have them, but... There's a... What is it? One of the... I'm not sure which one exactly. One of the mermaids puts everybody to sleep for one turn. What was it? Dark Sylphid does a similar thing. Puts all units to sleep for one turn. I mean, yeah, there is Nat 4s out there that are obtainable. Yeah, that didn't work, so sleep also. Yeah, them units, there's other units that that do stuns also. Any You can put any unit on despair for stuns. That's a nice thing about the despair. But no, see, I'm gonna just use that third skill just to increase attack bars and get more turns. Didn't even need it to heal. I could have used. Uh, I could have probably used Vertiheal 
and hua and just together and just stunned or uh not stunned increased and decreased increased our attack bars and decreased their attack bars left and right them two together are amazing along with other units that uh increase and decrease Orion Bernard they increase uh, attack bars <laughs> Bark would have been good <laughs> he's uh yeah, Bark would have been good too. He's a attack bar decreaser. Bark, Wah, Vertigo. Put them all together. <laughs> you got increases and decreases. Throw in a couple nukers. Yeah, it didn't, wasn't super fast, but you know. There's number six. Crowd control. You know, if I had all the right runes on all my formable team, I could have did that, but... Okay, uh, hope you liked the video. Hopefully, maybe it helped a little bit. Check into some, uh, units. Let me, let me check into some units. If it ever loads. I don't know, maybe I'm too far away from the uh, old box, there it goes. Yeah, let's look into some of these units. You know, what's this guy do? No, he ain't the one I thought he was, yeah. No. Some of these units are st like, they just have built in stuns. Like the Frankenstein. There he is. Fire Frank. He can stun. He's not AoE or anything. But throw him on despair and use that second skill. AoE. Anybody that has an AoE, you can throw him on despair. And a uh, chance. The stuns. This is no, that's the yeah. This one stuns. This guy. There are more units. Lots. There's lots. You got a Lucian. You're lucky. You could probably just. Lucian and Lucian and Jolie and Galleon probably just use them three and clear a bunch of stages. <laughs> but Wuchi, Wuchi's good. He'll reduce attack bars on everybody. Second skill, thirty percent. Third skill, everybody reduce them to zero. I've seen a lot of the uh, Water Magic Knights on Despair and their first skill is stunning everything left and right. They can be a nuisance. Tyron. Tyron's got the AoE Freeze. Third skill. Second skill does the uh, glancing. You know, put them on Despair. More stuns. I got mine on Despair. Jolie. Jolie could be a despair unit. Make her strong. What's this guy do? Oh, he does the branding. Yeah. All the death knights when they throw that when they throw that uh Oh that's not this guy. Oh the other two though, the fire and the, um Fire and Wind, that second skill. You know, they're supposed to be heavy on HP, but you can make them to spare units. Yeah, look into them. 
look into what you got and check and you know uh, think about it even for future HOHs like making some extra despair units because people will tell you for TOA that's, you want despair and crowd control so but you know if you like the video hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment questions anything you want to see let me know I'm gonna go just start on the next one Thanks, guys.